<laughs> we start with the punch. Uh, signing of PI beer. Well, it's not PIA <laughs> since it's being a sensitive thing to sign into law. Uh, Buari bounced the majority wish, says Aso Rock. South South blames lawmaker page two. And the writers here, President, not insensitive but responsive to the yearnings of the majority of Nigerians' aid. South South National Assembly members ignored their people, voted for party, says Governor's aid. Uh, this is a story for page two of the Punch newspapers this morning. So mm. let's start with this. Let's do this. The PIB. The PIA. PIA. <laughs> it's an act. It's, it's an act of an parliament. Act, yeah. uh, if that's to be amended, it has to go through uh, normal constitutional amendment and it will be amended. It's PIA. Uh, 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 not in the nearest yeah. future. Uh, I mean, not. I mean, it doesn't go into implementation. Today, President Buhari will really officially sign it into law. Uh, you know, along with members of the National Assembly, I think before the commencement of FEC today, because the president comes out of quarantine uh, today, and then uh, he will, I think, lay the modalities for the implementation of, of the Petroleum Industry Act uh, that 2021, uh, the, what the PIB has become. Uh, and uh, there have been a lot of reactions to, the, to, to, to that uh act since the president signed it on monday you know there are people who have said uh including opec that this is a good development nigeria has now found its way you know to have proper set of laws and regulations for its oil industry uh there have been critics too who have but what the critics have really bothered on uh host community the host community fund and they think it's not enough at three percent and that the president should have signed immediately uh without noting the concerns of uh, stakeholders, especially those people in Niger Delta communities uh, who were heartbroken by the fact that the National Assembly settled for three percent, you know, uh, for as whose community fund, you know. But the governors of the Niger Delta, especially uh, Governor Ifan Yokowa of Delta, through Lisa Ifejika, his spokesman, uh, blamed the, na- the National Assembly members from those states. Clearly, said this yes. this is the bad work we did. Even in the House of Reps, we saw Ndudi Lumelu, a minority leader, uh, stage a walkout. But not in the Senate. The, the most of them voted across party lines. You know, uh, these are initially supposed to be bipartisan, but they weren't partisan. You know, most of the lawmakers, according to the instructions of the party, that's how they voted. So at the end of the day, uh, uh, they adopted a three percent. You know, in, in both in both houses, and uh, the president does smacked his pen on it. That's what he did. You know. So if you like, blame the president if you as much as you want. But can you really really point accusing fingers at him at this stage? You know, because this is the law that was developed as a legislative bill, step by step, when there were public hearings, you know, there were consultations, people were asked to come, you know, remember the host community fund, they even fought in the National Assembly, you know, uh, at the end of the day, uh, it was supposed to be a matter of representation, the lawmakers from across the country, you know, represented their people, so it appears like this is all hands on deck, uh, you know, so, but the president again spoke yesterday that at the end of the day, it's open to amendment. And uh, we know that that's like postponing the evil day because I mean, you can't begin to amend the PI immediately. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, we'll see how it goes. Malan Garbashi will say it's, it's the president meeting the yearnings of Nigerians. And that's why he signed immediately returned from the UK last week, you know. Uh, but the, 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 I think uh, these uh, reactions will continue to generate uh, the controversy that has that is trailing it. Yesterday, to be placing by the minister. Uh, try to calm free nerves. Of course, immediately assured Nigerians uh, that uh, with the PIB or the PIA, uh, do not come immediately with a of subsidy. That that's a matter that uh, for consultations is ongoing. They did the framework to be able to do that. For now, petrol state at 162 to 165. Uh, you know that calm free nerves because again, the fear is that with the PIB in action immediately, uh, the other sector will have to the regulation will have to just happen by itself. You know, and petrol price will skyrocket, perhaps will be 400 naira per liter. But that's not happening. You were saying 300 naira before. Yeah, if you check the <laughs> landing cost, they are called. Every, no. The landing cost changes by the day, yeah, you know. Yeah. You know, and the landing cost is the most important aspect, component of what forms the price of petrol. Otherwise, if it's the ex depot, if we refine here locally and refine and marketers go and pick up at the depot, it's just the ex depot price. Probably get petrol for around the price we're buying now or less. You know, but it's the landing cost. That's where you see all the transportation costs, all of this, all of that. The taxes at the end of the day, that's where it hits. So if you look at what the landing cost is today, according to the Guardian today, it's almost 400 naira. You know, so 
at least for now, Nigerians will have uh, will calm their freed nerves over that. But the host communities are not relenting at all. They are really taking this really, really personally that the three percent is not enough. You know, but they need explanation because I've listened to someone try to break it down for me, and I think that if it goes uh, the way that explanation went, then it's probably not a bad deal. You know, because it takes money away from uh, the middlemen, the unnecessary middlemen who clamber around and and steal most of these funds and put the money directly into developmental projects, into a reserve fund, and very little of it into administrative costs for the host community. Did you enjoy this video? Hit the subscribe button for more, leave a comment, and like. Thank you.